Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, we're going to be discussing finished whiskeys. And I apologize, I accidentally knocked my glasses. Can't tell you how many I, times you've done that. I, I, I noticed in the corner of my eye, I threw you off your game. A little bit. I apologize. Yeah. Well, this is one of my... Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. You're killing me. Uh, now you threw me off what I was going to say. Finished whiskeys, I mean, is by far, yes. I think, probably one of my favorite topics. I do love a good straight traditional bourbon and everything. Absolutely. But there are Absolutely. There are some product, like a, a good majority of my daily drinkers mm -hmm. are just are finished products. Is that right? Yeah. I do. I do love them as well. And we get a lot of questions regarding finished whiskeys, bourbons. There's a lot of opinions. A lot of, there's Ooh, quite yeah, a few folks are. that say, if it's finished, it's not bourbon. But it is. But, you know, it truly is. You know, what's the requirements of a bourbon trend? It's got to be at least 51% corn and aged in charred new American oak barrels. So as long as it goes through that process, if it's rebarreled into something else, it's still a bourbon. It's just enhanced. The way I like to, the way I like to look at it and refer to it in my brain trend is kind of like cooking, right? When you cook, when you throw things together, you want to layer some flavors. Oh yeah, right? I'm cooking. I know that's right. Cook. I know that's right. Cook. So you layer some flavors. You use that. You put some bacon in to get that bacon fat going, and then you get some other things. You zhuzh it up you're, a little bit. Yeah, that's right. You're, you're layering tossing spices. You're in there. layering some flavors. That's yeah. what you got going on, and and that's how I refer to a finished whiskey. You're just layering more flavors in there. I love it. Sometimes it comes out great, and I've tasted some that comes out horribly. Yeah, and maybe, for me, maybe another video on that at some point. <laughs> maybe. No, I don't know. These are our five favorites of finished whiskeys that we have up here. But, you know, I've had some that were just, just horribly, they just went really, really bad. And yeah. For me personally, and I don't know, I can't speak for you, but for me, I've said it before on the channel, I really want the goodness of the whiskey to stand out more than the finish itself. If the finish overrides the goodness of the bourbon, let's say, that's just too much. The finish, the finish to me is like kind of a support mechanism where it just like great elevates, elevates. And now you're using your yeah, hands even yeah. wonderful. Well, you you get you got me cooking with those hands now. <laughs> um, it's yeah, I don't. I've I've had a couple that really just like this is a let's just say like a maple finish mm -hmm. for example where it I'm basically just tasting maple syrup mm -hmm. and that's all fine and great but I still want to get some of those whiskey and bourbon flavors yeah. in it because that's what I'm I mean absolutely I'm trying to find that I'm trying to drink for yeah that, so. that's a great way to say that I'm glad you said that because that's that's perfect I'm glad perfect. I said it too yeah. perfect explanation okay. it's fantastic now we have a few different whiskeys here if you notice I keep saying whiskeys you know it's not just bourbon. I didn't I didn't put any scotch into this Trenton because a lot of the scotch is actually aged right, right from the beginning in let's say, you know, ex sherry barrels or, you know, casks or whatever. That's like So I didn't the, include any any scotch into this. That's like one of the only things I know about scotch. Apart from that, I'm not a huge fan. Mm -hmm. That that is one of the, yeah. the facts I know about. It. I know you have something there that's a little different, but I'll let yeah. you speak to that yeah. when it, when you when it's your turn. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go first because, you know, if you need <laughs> I think uh, you're starting out strong here. Well, I'm starting out strong and a little bit obvious. I think if people watch the show enough, they'll probably know that I've touted and talked about this bottle mm -hmm. a million times, but it is truly one of my favorites. Sagamore Sherry Finished Rye. Yeah. I mean, I can't I can't remember how much these are. I think it's like on the $80, on the $80, $80 kind of side of things. Is and, it? And it's a 106 proof. But this is probably my third bottle of this. <laughs> I wouldn't and I it. drink this two or three times a week. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> It's it's really hard. It's got this like nice dusty kind of feel to it, and it, sherry is probably one of my favorite finishes, if not my mm -hmm. own, if not my absolute favorite. Yeah. I like port. It's kind of a close race, but that like old dusty quality, kind of it it takes me back. Even though I'm only like I'm, I'm a young fella, you know, I'm 26. <laughs> a little bit. It little can't bit. take me back. I got I got <laughs> socks older than you, buddy. Socks? Oh, it's probably like those yellow toe ones. <laughs> I used to golden think, toes. I used to think that was like toe sweat when I was a young kid. <laughs> I used to think that was toast sweat. Anyways, we're getting off the rails here. This is incredible. If you can find it, I would absolutely pick this up. It's a great beginner rye too, I think, because it it, 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 it is, is a rye, rye, but you don't get that rye spice. It's really it's paired very nicely with that sherry mm -hmm. finish. So yeah, at probably my top, my number one out of the five that I'm going to tout out. But yeah, yeah, very very good bottle. Yeah, it is. My first one trend I'm going to share with you is Rabbit Hole Derringer. You know I'm a fan of this one. I know. I you saw are. you on the Discord, kind of kind of kind of poo pooing it a little bit. Yeah, I was a little irritated. Irritated? Yeah, I slapped you down, didn't I? 
You did actually. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Discord. So this one's this one's great, Trent. It really is. It's finished in PX Sherry mm -hmm. Cask or Pedro Jimenez Sherry Cask, ninety three proof, and I know that's why you don't have quite of, a, um, of an affinity with this bottle is because the proof point. Well, Am I right? I'll I'll level with you here. Mm -hmm. The the reason that I'm not a huge fan of this is is really for me the price. Because I don't mind when it's something's finished. I don't mind a lower lower uh, lower proof. Because I okay. feel like when you get a lower proof finished product, that that uh, finish kind of mm -hmm. is a little bit more elevated in, in my experience. Mm -hmm. But the price on this gets me. I don't mind it, mm -hmm. but it's not something I'm going to go out and buy. Yeah, what is it, 80, 85 bucks something like yeah, that? Yeah, that's where that's where it gets me. I, I still think it's worth it. Okay. I think it's rich. I like I like you know me. I'm I don't have to have 115 no, proof to enjoy it. <laughs> So I think the proof point is fine by me, and I think it's really nice, rich, nutty finish on that. I like it. Nutty? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. That's what I think. Oh, I'll get back to that in a moment. I'll talk, <laughs> talk about my next one here. All right. My next one, also a rye. Yep. They're not all ryes. I think I only have two ryes, and this is the second one. Um, I'm going to go with the Middle West Ported Pumpernickel Rye. Again, this is about 80 bucks. I've heard that in some states this is available for around 40 Wow. And if you can find it for 40 buy, oh. it, buy a case. Yeah, buy it immediately. It's so good. I don't really, like, this just tastes like you, uh, you know those, like, little balls of fireworks that you can buy at the store and you, like, put them in a tube? Mm -hmm. It's like you lift one. <laughs> or you <laughs> ate one. Don't eat a firework. That That's not a good idea. It. What he's trying to say is it does have just a touch of a sulfur note in it. It does. You can't deny that. <sighs> But it's just a touch, but it evolves into a, a, I mean, it really does have a beautiful pumpernickel type bread note to it. And it's rich from the tawny port. You know, well, it's good. You're I, right, it's good. I have to say that I've never had pumpernickel bread, I don't think. Babe. I'm, I'm going to the store after this. I'll buy a loaf of pumpernickel. I'll <laughs> toss a little, what are the, they make Rubens on that? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll make now, a little Reuben not? after about 9.30. I love that stuff. But, but in all honesty, like... This is a steal even for eighty dollars. I love this. Again, this is like the these yep. two. I drink two or three times a yeah, week. Yeah, this is my bottle levels here, but I got I got a backup. Yeah, so we're in good shape. So if you can find it, pick it up. Great bottle. Don't get too thrown off by the sulfur note. I mean, I yep. know saying it out loud, you might be like, I don't want to, I don't want to taste that. Give it a shot. Yep. Yeah. Don't do it. It's just very light on that. He's. Yeah. You know, he's on the right track there. He just had a hard. He had a hard time conveying. I usually have a hard time conveying anything. <laughs> My next bottle, I'm going to put my glasses on, Trenton, because I'm not going to remember. But I really like this Barrel Vantage. And it, it'll take you on a ride. That's the thing. It really takes you on a ride. It's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Misenera, French, and toasted American oak casks. So three different finishes on this. All right. And it's, and I'm assuming when they batch Trenton that, that they finished certain portions of that batch in those separate barrels. And they just blended it. And then they blended the finished product together. Okay. You know, but for me on this one, I get a beautiful, I mean, the the, the overwhelming palette note for me is peach on this really? one. Really? Yeah, I really like it. However, it really takes you on a ride. There's a whole lot going on in that bottle because of all the different finishes. And yeah. I, I really enjoy it. I think Barrel Bourbon nailed it with this one. Sometimes you gotta be careful because I've also tasted, and I'm not even saying anything about barrel, and there other, but I've tasted other bourbons that have been finished in several numbers of casks, and it was like, okay, that's just, there's a lot. That's yeah. just whacked out. Yeah. So this one's great, though. It's it's impressive when they can find a good balance between that many things because yeah. there is a lot going mm -hmm. on. And yeah. when you get that nice, like, like you were saying, like cooking, like you're getting some nice yeah. layering in there. It, it's it absolutely really nice. does. About 80, 85 bucks. This next one. Uh, ooh, which where do I want to go? I'll go this way. Ah. Um, this was actually this was I will say this was sent to us by ASW. Mm -hmm. They don't distribute in our state, so I had asked them if there's anything kind of new fancy coming out, and they sent us this. This is the ASW Fiddler Amberana. I will say Amberana is a Brazilian wood, and it really lends to a cinnamon toast crunchy kind of thing. But really it does. also there's this like weird back end thing. It's like a little bit bitter. I don't really know how to describe it, but I know a lot of people like Ambrana, but when you don't like Ambrana, you don't like Ambrana. It's a it's a definitive flavor profile for yeah. sure. So if you like cinnamon toast crunch as like a cereal, this might be a good avenue. But there, I will say, there's a little bit of a bitter note on the end that can make or break for some people. I think I mentioned this before. Joe Almond, yeah, hates Ambrana. <laughs> just absolutely hates hey, it. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, know what he likes and yeah. what he doesn't like. That's so why. I think this also runs about eighty bucks. Uh -huh. um, 
I think all the ones we have of here are going to run about 80 80 ish dollars yeah. give or take but i love it if you like amber honor you're trying to find some different kind of uh out there finishes pick this up if you can find mm -hmm. it it's, it's really spectacular all right buddy i got a rye i'm surprised yeah, you got a rye i know and i've got to put this in here guys this is this is our barrel pick here this hasn't even been released you know to our patreon group yet for purchase this is going to be 117 proof trenton as you know. Was it that? I don't remember how, how proof it yeah, was. Yeah, I think I looked at it before we started. Yeah, 117.2 proof. <clears throat> However, this is going to be close to $100, something like that, I'm sure. And reason being is because when we picked this, I, I was the kind of the driver on this you one. Were a, I, yeah. You I was a... such a fan of this. And normally, this is finished in an agricole rum barrel. All right? Normally. Normally, rum finishes are my least favorite favorite i haven't had period. a rum finish i like yet you know i you know the angel's envy is not bad but mm -hmm. the rye but oh yeah most of the time though most of the time the majority rum is bottom of my list but this this agricole rum if you if you're not familiar with rum agricole rum is super funky yeah that's the best way i can describe it and it really lends some of that funk notes in here and it just blends so well with the rye whiskey i fell in love with it old elk only was it 11 barrels 11. they had yeah, yeah. They, they only had so there's only 11 barrels available period and we were able to get one and i just had to put it on this list because i'm, I'm a huge fan very good i when you when you first started going to it i tried it i was like eh, man this is really funky and then jay tried it kevin tried it and they mm -hmm. loved it and i went back to it after we did some more tasting yeah. and it was absolutely phenomenal so yeah. we ended up we best ended up rum finish it. i've ever tasted yeah no doubt i agree with you on that one all right next Another one that we've talked about before, Widow yeah. Jane Decadence. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at on the screen here. You Widow Jane Decadence. Uh, I think, we're, yeah, you're fine. Right. Um, I think this runs about $90 to $100. It was a bit of a, um, I heard it was everywhere, and then we and maybe some other channels were talking about it, and then it just kind of just kind of disappeared. I'm hoping they come out with another batch this year. They are. Oh, I okay. believe they're coming out with, with another batch Wonderful. in the fall time, mm -hmm. and I've heard that it's going to be around the same price. It'll be interesting, though, because I believe this first release was when uh, Widow Jane was not acquired by Heaven Hill, but Widow Jane has been since acquired by Heaven Hill. So it'll be interesting to see how these two compare. I don't mm. know if they were sourcing from Heaven Hill beforehand, so it could just be like another batch. I don't okay. Know. Hopefully it is, because that's phenomenal. But you could you could actually just pour this on top of your pancakes in the morning. <laughs> you could. Ma maybe mix it with a little bit of maple syrup to like give it some little bit of oh, viscosity. But, it's, it's really good. Oh, I, I'm, I nurse mine as much as possible because I'm just waiting for another one to come out. Oh, God. And it's like pe pecan, pecan, pecan. Pecan one of those. is what I say. But yeah, I... it's one of those, and it's like a maple pecan kind yeah. of thing. It's delicious. It is. You're yeah. right. It, it's, it's, when I was going around the bar there and, and trying to pick out my list, I bypassed that because I just, I knew Trent was going to have it on the list. Oh, you're so, so nice. Yeah. You know, I, I gave you the, I knew the Sagamore Sherry. I knew this one for sure would be on the list. I was like, eh. I'm a little predictable. I'll say that. <laughs> but um, this is my favorite maple finish that I've ever had. Oh, that's Sagamore's coming out with a maple finish rye. And I'm hoping I can find one. Because wow. I'm going to see if this, is, I'm going to see if that'll be a contender for it. But well, we'll see. Speaking of Sagamore, Trenton, you know, I had to pull one of mine out too. Yep. Sagamore. They do some incredible, incredible yeah. work with their finish process. This is the port finish. It was close on my list. I oh, I love the port. I think this is 103 proof. This is also going to be like $90, is it, Trent? I think, think so, was, yeah. Something like yeah. that. But the port finish on this one is rich. It's just full-bodied. It's wonderful. It really is. Yeah. It's got so much fruit coming out of there because of the port finish. Some dark you know, dried cherry type notes in there. Yeah. Oh, it's so good, man. It's just, I love that stuff. And I'm going to have to tell you, I'm going to have to tell you, I, 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 I edge your sherry out with this port. I, that's, I think that was a little bit better than your sherry. Get out of here. That's not even close. Yeah. That's not even close. <laughs> it might be close, but this is just, oh, yeah. get out of town. <laughs> get out of town. All right. Last but not least, this is a distillery yeah. we haven't talked about before, and I think we have a video no, I, at I'm... some point in the future on it, but I got a, a message on Discord from one of our patrons, and he was like, hey, there's this there's this bottle here that I've never seen, if you're interested in it. It yeah. was, I will say, about 100 bucks. 
and it was coming from a distillery that is out of uh, Washington, Woodenville. This is their Moscatel finish. You gave me one taste of that and it was great. Dude, this is great. incredible. I'm not usually a fan of any other like wine finishes apart from uh, like a port or a uh, sherry. I think sherry's a wine. I'm not a wine person. Um, but th again, this was a hundred bucks and I, I didn't even know anything about it. And I think this is also kind of a lower proof, 100 proof, so it's not that low. But when I got it and I opened it, something was happening in like my body. Like it, <laughs> it, it did a thing to my whole body. Convulsions. And, yeah. And... But it was just like I fell in love a little bit, you know? It was dynamite. It was very good. It's been a while, but you did give me a taste of it and it was really, really good. And this is the only bottle I've ever had. I do nurse it quite a bit because I'm, I, I don't yeah. know where to get another one of these. Mm -hmm. So if you see one of these, highly recommended. I know that Woodenville maybe doesn't get the best rap in terms of their bourbons. Right. Um, their Sometimes. rise I've heard are pretty good. I'm trying right. to find one of those so we can do a review on that. But take a chance on this one if you see it. It's very good, very sweet. It's a, uh, where, ugh, it's a very well balanced uh, bourbon. It is. Uh, a finished bourbon. It it's is. not too much of that Moscatel, no. but it's not too it's, much of the, you can tell that it's finished and yeah. it's it's paired really nicely with, very, with very what good. they put in there. So great All job right. to Woodenville. On that. My last one, Trenton, is my favorite. Out of all these? Out of everything up at the bar top. Uh, I know that's... <laughs> I know that's you're actually looking at surprising. That going, going, really? It's an American single malt, guys. I've got Westward. It's an Oregon single malt finished Oregon? in... Oregon? Oregon single malt finished in Pinot Noir casks. All right? 90 proof. Right, Trent? Yeah, can 90 you proof. Give me a glass. Oh, it's right here, dude. Oh. <laughs> I got it for you. Ready? Because I knew I wanted you to do this. Okay. Right here it is. All right? Now... I'm gonna be very curious to see what you even got on the nose. To me, the nose is extremely vibrant and bright and glorious. It. <laughs> There's the Trenton face. To me, it's like an overripe banana, sort of. Yeah. It, to what? Me, is that right? What? No, to me, well, it, it could be to you. Know, it, it, it's definitely fruity, but I get a beautiful apricot note in there, like a really ripe apricot note. And that's what I get on the palate, too. It's just. It's just so good. You got a little bit of maltiness in there too, because it is a, it is a single malt. It's American single malt. Taste but, it. But this smells like banana bread. What? Like for real. <laughs> I can't get over the the apricot note in there. So though. I've only ever had dried apricots. I've never had like a fresh I, I, apricot. I can see where you're coming from. So I'm gonna have to go pick up a fresh apricot and give it a shot. But have a little sip, buddy. See what you think. What's the proof? Ninety. Just ninety proof. <laughs> and I love. I love that proof point and that 90, 93 proof point, you know, when it comes to scotch and, and this American single malt, this finished malt here. You know, I even like it in this this rabbit hole. What did I just drink? <laughs> it's glorious, isn't that it? That is a roller coaster of different <laughs> stuff. I got like just, this. It's a beast at 90 proof. Am I right, Trident? Come on now. Now, it may not fit your flavor profile perfectly, and I get that because you're not a single malt guy, but there is so much going on in that glass. There just is. So I'll tell it's you, lovely. I would drink this mm -hmm. because it's, there's so, ooh, it changes every time I drink it. It's like banana bread kind of up front. At the end, there's some like coffee bitterness that I'm getting. Like if you were standing in a Starbucks or something. Okay. But then in the middle, there's this like dank. Yes. Dankness. Yes. Like. No doubt. I don't even yeah. know how to describe that. Yes. Like damp basement type dank, dank notes. Without a doubt. There's no doubt about that. The only thing I'm not getting with you on it is the banana bread thing. But everything else that you're saying, I am. It's glorious. It's just wonderful. It's about 100 bucks. It's going to run you about 100 bucks. But I love that stuff. There have been things I've opened up in the fridge that mm -hmm. have been expired okay. that I open and smell out of curiosity. <laughs> like Babe, you, does that surprise you whatsoever? I feel like you, you smell everything. You, you have to... <laughs> I love a good bad smell. I'll say that I, I do. I love a good bad smell. It's just gross. So like, it smells like something I've opened in the fridge that like it was growing a couple spores on it <laughs> that I probably shouldn't have been near too much. But it's good. How much is this? About a hundred bucks. That was a Harry's at Bees Liquor for a hundred bucks. It's an experience. Yes. Like there is a lot. Mm. I could. This is one of the pours that I could sit down with for a while and really try and like kind of map out oh, where it's going. There's no doubt. As you can see, I've I've had a little bit out of here, and it, every time every time I have a, an ounce or an ounce and a half, 
it takes me a good half hour, 45 minutes to get through it because I just want to, I just want to savor every sip and think about it, dwell on it. I can try to figure out what's going on in there. Usually, that's I, when you know it's really good. Usually, I can't be on the same page with you on that. <laughs> I know, I know. But for this, honestly, like I probably could. That's I. I was hoping so because I thought you might actually. You need to sit down with this and try and find that banana bread because it's there and it's good. <laughs> sure. It's like yeah. you're having banana bread with a nice coffee in a in a moldy basement. <laughs> <laughs> that's an experience. It's good. Try it out if you if you see it. There you have it. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get. It. It doesn't get any more real than that. Let us know what your favorite uh, finished yes, whiskey, bourbon, please. like whatever, because I'd be interested. I'm always trying on, yes. on the lookout for some new finished yeah. products. Yep. So definitely, always. definitely uh, let us know in yeah. the comments. Would love to hear yours. That's all we got for you today. Boy, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time. Right down here with Trent and I in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.